A dozen years after she disappeared on the phone with 911, that recording of Shannon Gilbert, which had been in police possession this whole time, is now being released. Yeah, well, it does provide new information about the last minutes of the life of that woman whose disappearance resulted in a search that turned up the bodies of 10 other victims in the Gilgo Beach area. Police say that Gilbert's death remains inconclusive, and that's not sitting well with her family members who insist that she was, in fact, murdered. Yeah, PIX 11's James Ford is live on Oak Beach on Long Island with more. James. And we begin with this warning. This new material may be disturbing to some viewers. State police. Yeah, there's somebody asking me. I'm sorry? There's somebody asking me. That's the voice of Shannon Gilbert, the 23 year old sex worker, minutes before she disappeared in the early morning hours of May 1st, 2010. She spent just under 23 minutes on the phone with 911 dispatchers. That call had been kept in police evidence and out of the public domain ever since until now. That releasing the Shannon Gilbert 911 call will not hinder this investigation. His department released a 12 minute video pairing pertinent sections of Gilbert's call with information related to it. Where are you, ma'am? I don't know. The police investigation shows that she was at number eight, the Fairway Drive in Oak Beach, the home of Joseph Brewer, the man who'd hired her that night. No. No, stop. No. It's one of a variety of times that Gilbert indicates that she's in some sort of distress. She'd been taken to the home by a livery car driver, Michael Pack. He's also heard on the tape. It's the first of multiple times she asks. The leader of the homicide squad narrates what happens next. Shannon then ran from Brewer's house at 8 the fairway to Gus Coletti's house at 17 the fairway, a distance of two tenths of a mile. Seconds later, <coughs> neighbor Gus Coletti encounters Gilbert. He's heard on the 911 call. She then runs down the street to the home of another neighbor, Barbara Brennan. Brennan called 911 without letting Gilbert in. 43 the bayou. Some woman is knocking at my door. Police narrate their conclusion. There's a trench running east and west through the marshland. This was created to allow mosquito control. It is believed that Shannon followed this trench. Personal belongings of hers were found just north of the trench. A search for her body led investigators to discover the remains of four other women nearby in Gilgo Beach seven months later. And then, four to five months after that, six more sets of remains were found nearby. Gilbert's remains were found in December 2011, about three quarters of a mile from where she was last seen. As for her death, it's undetermined, which means uh, no causes can be included or excluded. But John Ray, attorney for Gilbert's family, says the autopsy they had done shows she was murdered. He insists that Dr. Peter Hackett, a former Oak Beach resident who spoke with Gilbert's mother, is connected to her death. Called Mary Gilbert two days after Shannon disappeared, said he had her in his house. He said that he medicated her. He was running a home for wayward girls. She ran away and didn't come back, and he was worried. Now, Mary Gilbert, Shannon's mother, had been an advocate for the investigation into her death. Mary Gilbert tragically was killed by one of Shannon's sisters six years ago. Meanwhile, another sister will be joining attorney John Ray at a news conference on Monday where he says he will present new evidence, additional evidence showing that she was murdered. We will, of course, be there and the full 911 call can be heard at pix11.com by clicking on this story. Reporting live from Oak Beach on Long Island, I'm James Ford, Pix11 News.